Welcome back. In the previous video, we discovered that energy travels through waves, and there are two kinds of waves, electromagnetic and mechanical. Now, we're starting a new unit about life and living things. Anything that is living or was once alive is called an organism. Our objective is to determine what organisms are composed of, and at the end of our video, we will take a quiz. Are you excited to learn? Let's begin. Picture a rock, now a tree, lastly a chicken. Do you know what the tree and the chicken have in common, but a rock doesn't? It's that they are organisms. But how can we tell? Let's take a closer look, a really close one. So close that we need a special tool for it. This special tool is called a microscope and its job is to help us see things that are too small for the naked eye. When we put a small piece of the tree, like its leaf, under the microscope, we can inspect it very closely and see a tiny structure called a cell. These cells are not like the ones in a prison, however, that is what their discoverer named them after. These cells contain essential components for every organism. Every living thing is made up of at least one cell because cells are vital, so vital that cells are considered the building blocks of life. All living things are made from cells. That means the chicken, which is also an organism, is made up of cells too. If we take a closer look at a feather under the microscope, we can see cells as well. So now, we know that every living thing is made up of at least one cell, but what about non-living things like the rock? Before we discuss this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We will be doing videos on each of the new standards. The more likes and subscribers we receive, the more videos we will do. For those who want to monetarily support the channel, please read the video's description on how to donate via Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal. This helps us continue to produce videos and get the best animations for you. Thank you. Now, back to the video. Living organisms are the only things that are made up of cells. Non-living things such as rocks, steel, and glass are not composed of cells. It is important to note that if something was once alive, it will have cells in it even if it is no longer alive. For instance, if you take an apple and examine it under a microscope, you will see cells because it was once part of a living thing. So far, we have established two things. We have learned that all organisms are made from cells and non-living things are not made from cells. But, how many cells are organisms made from? Well, the answer to this question varies. The smallest organisms are made from one cell. These small organisms are called unicellular. It means one cell. Unicellular organisms are small creatures like bacteria and can only be seen with a microscope. Larger organisms are made with multiple cells. They are called multicellular. This means multiple cells. Multicellular organisms are made with anywhere between two and trillions of cells. Something small like algae can be made from a few million cells, but the human body is made from trillions and trillions of cells. If you had to count every cell in the human body one by one, it would take you over 31,000 years. Before we review today's lesson, let's talk about one more important fact about cells. With the countless number of cells in the human body, it is crucial to understand that not all cells are identical. In multicellular organisms, cells have the ability to become highly specialized, performing specific functions. For instance, some cells are designed to transport blood, while others are used for muscle development or bone formation. On the other hand, in unicellular organisms, a single cell is responsible for carrying out all the necessary functions required for the survival of the organism. Now, let's review. And remember, after the review, there is a short multiple choice quiz to test your knowledge. Anything that is living or was once alive is called an organism. Organisms are made from cells. Some organisms are made from only one cell and are called unicellular, while others are made from multiple cells and are called multicellular. 
Multicellular organisms develop cells that become specialized to do different jobs like transport blood or build muscle, but unicellular organisms have a cell that carries out all of the functions necessary for survival. We know living things have cells because we can view them under a microscope. When we use the microscope, we can see very small things, which is how we discovered cells are real. If we look at non-living things, we can see that they do not have cells. This means that cells are the building blocks of life, because an organism cannot exist without cells. Now let's review with a few questions. Teachers, you can make this video into an ed puzzle or use it as a formative assessment quiz in Google Classroom. The questions are in the description for you to easily copy and paste. Number 1. What are considered the building blocks of life? A. Seeds B. Water C. Cells D. Food Number 2. What are all living things called? A. Particles B. Organisms C. Multicellular D. Unicellular Number 3. What is the meaning of the word unicellular? A. One cell B. Uniformed cell C. Organized cell Number 4. Which of the following tools can be used to view cells? A. Telescopes B. Binoculars C. Microwaves D. Microscopes Number 5. What is the meaning of the word multicellular? A. One cell B. Multiple cells C. Miniature cells D. Specialized cells Thank you for watching. You can watch any of our videos or rewatch this one at any time by going to youtube.com and searching for C Learning. Make sure the logo on the channel is the same as the one you see on the screen at the end of this video. Goodbye.